Okay, in this video I'm going to be kicking off a new series where I install and play Mud Revolution. Now, Mud Revolution is an expansion, sort of, or reimagining maybe a very large addition to Major Mud. Now, Major Mud stopped at 1.11p as its last version, Module 9, and it was abandoned since then. This was probably 20 years ago at the time of making this, uh, so early 2000s. Now, there's been some community efforts over the years after to revive it, to add some custom edits, and MudRev is probably the most expansive of them, but at this point it's pretty stale as well. It's, it's, it's been adapted by lots of different BBSs, and it's been modified and um, expanded upon and diverged from the original MudRev as much as possible. A lot of people say that Silicon Rev, Silicon BBS Mud Rev, was the most stable. And so what I did was on Mud Info, if you go to the Mud Rev subboard, you can find that there's a standard 1.11p Mud Rev as well as a Silicon version. And so when you expand that, it gives you an MDB. Now, in order to install Mud Rev, what you have to do is go through the normal setup of your, your major Mud board. And again, you can get a guide on how to do this on mudinfo.net forums. And then with Nightmare, what you need to do is a database import. So when you select the import, you can say, here's the mud rev to select. You want to import everything. You want to update existing records. It's always a good idea to preview first, although um, it's not like you're going to give too much thought of this, especially if you have a stock board. Uh, I, I also noticed that it actually was created with like a 1.6 version of Nightmare. So there was some message about not as many features being enabled in the database export. So I just ignored that and then went through an import. It took, I don't know, three to five minutes to actually run. And then I was able to get my board up. So I'll just show you how the board looks. Okay. It's got to do some recovery, but... I'll get this going. This is my dedicated server, which I'm currently running in a remote desktop. You can see up here if I minimize it. This is what my actual desktop is. So, uh, yeah, once this actually runs, I will show you that MudRev was indeed put on my board. The standard install is the hard part of this. And again, that's pretty well described how to create a world group 3.3 with major mud 1.11p board and that's the basis of this once that's done then you really just overwrite the data files uh, I left this running overnight and planning to make a video on this today and looks like major mud is doing some recovery I'm not sure exactly how long this is going to take but the goal is to simply show you what it takes to get the dats installed again export this rare file load up nightmare redux do a database import and then load up your board. So that's the basis of what it takes to get a board online. And I will show you in a second what this looks like once it's done with the recovery. Okay, well, disregard uh, what that was. I'm not exactly sure, but here I had to reboot the system and finally did come online. So now you can see when I telnet into my own device, um, it's on, right? Zero dot, oh, I typed it in wrong. I would explain it. Let's try one more time. 199. There we go. So uh, I also created a dual mud board. So forget the stock one. R is mud rev. You can see I've entered. My stats are a troll ranger, which are part of the mud rev expansion. So if I were to show you, here's there's 18 races in this version and 25 classes compared to the stock. Stock being, what, 13 and 15, respectively? Yeah. 
So, uh, just showing you that it was installed. I was able to get the new races and classes and the areas. And um, and yeah, that's that's Mud Rev. In the subsequent videos, I'll show you how to set up Mega Mud and eventually start taking out the Mud Rev specific bosses, which are not part of the stock. So, thanks for watching and hope you watch this series with me.